stretch. Welcome to Ultra X England. This is a story of myself and my friends and how we got on at this 50 kilometer race. Panic buying all the good stuff. So we're just gonna get King's some electrolyte tablets and then we're in business. Woo. We're driving, Meg's here too. vlog update we have arrived at destination we've Woo! snuck on to camp and we're setting up before sunset in the middle of nowhere how are we doing guys so as you can see the tents are set up and uh, we've kind of eaten now little little gas issue Yay! but we're raving now <laughs> Yeah, um, we've set up camp. We've just gone and sat at a bench and there's a nice fire there that met some nice people. Just gonna get a little bit more dressed up because I'm bloody freezing and sort myself out and yeah, time to chill. Cheers guys, good morning. Um, it's a stunning day today. It's been cold this morning. Getting some coffee down me and need to eat some food. One, two, five just run off and the 50, 50 kilometers will be setting off for like two hours. Cheers. So we've just collected our race numbers. Uh-huh, 135, first over the finish line, watch out. First finish you right here. Getting run right over by, <laughs> by chapel for a 50k to run today. Uh-huh, I've got about 2,000 calories on the snacks. We've got heavy bags. We've got big bags. Big bags. But we've got big bellies. And we've got even bigger <laughs> dreams. Woo! I'm proper twitchy, but once you've gone, I can't get it. Someone better tell the guy at the front it's not 5k, it's 50. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so I got to the start line. We have 60 seconds to spare and now we're uh, in classic Kingo style and now we're off with the amount of breath in the first 20 seconds. A lovely day for it. Oh, great. Fingers are alive still. Fingers are still alive, that's good. Toes on the left. <laughs> Toes aren't here yet. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you were here about like, a little belt. Let me snack, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the terrain at the moment. That's not what I was expecting in the first two miles. Thank you very much. Yeah, Just a quick catch up before I meet back up with Megan and Abby. It was hard in that first mile section to get past people, um, obviously because of the terrain, wet feet already in the bushes, and then back out onto this.
So just checking in, that's my first climb done. My heart rate's 190 and I'm struggling to keep up with Megan Naps. But I'm just glad I can have a little bit of a downhill rest now. Thank you. Um, just a little update, I realised that I've had my car keys absolutely soaked in my bag, so hopefully they work after the race. And uh, my heart rate has been 180 this whole whole time from the get-go, so I'm struggling, but just keeping the pace going. And uh, yeah, this is a bit of a downhill section, my late at the moment. And uh, we've broken a little bit. We're going on a trip with our favourite running trainers, floating through the three peaks. <laughs> Go. Thanks, guys. I wrote that one at mile eight. <laughs> Eighty-two. And your Kenny Phillips. Yeah, Kingsley Phillips. That's right. <laughs> I'll be called Kenny all day now. <laughs> This is the steepest one and then after that I can start thinking about this home strip home. I'm uh, I'm in the hurt house. The way it's working at the minute we're kind of yo-yoing back and forward, me, Megan and Abby, where I feel that I can push a bit more on the downhill, but the uphill like this I struggle so I'm just gonna keep a constant pace and catch them up if I can and push ahead if I can a little bit and wait at the, at the bottom of the hills. I thought I'd vlog this, but I can barely even talk. Go, I'll follow on behind you. Oh. Yeah. 
ich bin pissed an ihn. the climbing's over I've still got a few more roller coasters to get on board of but that's the big boy out the way and I'm glad because my heart rate has been sitting at if you can see there around 180 to 200 for the whole entirety of the race in terms of updates of Megan and Abby they're not far behind me I can see I can see Megan I'm struggling on the uphill so pushing hard now so I can stay with them later because they're both not to be messed with their machines and So guys, I'm 16 miles in and halfway. Like I say, I've twisted both ankles two times and I think through compensating for the, for the pain a little bit, I've ended up blowing out my right knee. Didn't film the, but it was a bit technical for the first bit. We were together literally about two minutes ago and I'll try and point to where she is. She's, she's down there. Cheers, man. I'm trying not to put my strong foot forward all of the time. You don't want your good leg to blow out, so I'm still, you've got to take care of that as well. I've gone. There's nothing too hard. It's just the consequences of the trip right now are not in your favor. Again, just checking in, Meg's all the way down at that checkpoint there. Sorry for my Bear Grylls, David Attleborough voice I'm not putting it on I'm just struggling to breathe <laughs> well done, guys. Great oh, work. thank you thank you <laughs> Look at that track oh I can't wait <laughs> thank you hey up Meg go <laughs> I was thinking you went that far. Yes. <laughs> What's your number? One three. One three five. One three five. Yeah, you guys. Um What's that? How ultra the trail is. <laughs> like it's real ultra, isn't it? It's not the ultra distance that I'm phased by. It's the bugs. I could wander around for hours. I'm bothered. It's the ultra. Oh, it's a challenging part. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you drink as the day unfolds. Some everyone gets, some everyone gets. You don't know anything like this, Polly? No. No. This is marathons. Yeah. I've done two of them. Um, but yeah, this is the furthest distance I've done yeah. on my training run. It was 19 miles, so I feel like I've been pretty underprepared. 24.76. Don't know what that is in K. Um, I don't know what to say other than ow. I feel like I've had my wall moments. They were downhill. Meg would call them highlights of the trip. Um, <laughs> we've now got an uphill though. 
this bit here, which I'm very excited about. How We've got doing? Kings and Lee. How are you doing, guys? I'm pretty low on, pretty low on salt. Um, I'm really struggling now. It's banging. It's banging. Yo! This is what a dying man looks like. In, take a look at the minute. And a 360 view. Oh, we got Lee as well. But it's stunning. You can't be miserable when it's this stunning. I feel like I told you a big lie earlier when I was like, this is the last I feel bit. <laughs> I just feel like I've packed too much of everything but what I actually need. Yeah, this is quite cool. I've got the compass, whether I'm on course or something. Yeah, look, 25 miles. It is a cool climb pro. Here's the map, so if you look now, I'm literally by myself. I know we've got these flags that you can see just there, but this is a big achievement for me, really. 25 miles. I've practically came on a marathon through, you know, through this. Ah, it was the bad knee. I'm just going to turn around the camera in a second. You'll see the last checkpoint before home. I'll be back, back at the car in less than an hour. So this is just like a home run now, but Cheers guys. Oh my god. Woo. I think I'm good for I'm just gonna have a little break. 82 can you fill it? Yeah, just come up. Stunning. They've done me dirty. Thought either they'd be at the next checkpoint, being like, mate, you're slowed down, give us the car key. <clears throat> We're waiting all day for you. Or they'd push on, they've pushed on, but it's okay, they know me, I know them, and to be honest, I'd just rather do this last 5k by myself in my own head whilst I'm dealing with the uh, knee pain. I've just seen. All these gates they've got like special passcodes hit that twilight stage and you can see the stunning views behind me that when you're not hurting you can look up and enjoy that I had a gel science and sport they were just right at the back of the cupboard I grabbed them chucked them in my in my boot and off we go one was out of date this year in April, and the other one was out of date this year in, Ju in June. Just... Let me just, uh, one last glimpse of the sunset, how stunning is that? I can tell just from the twilight. It's, it's a sport gel. They do say don't mix your drinks. Don't mix your, don't mix your gels. This will be fun. Oh, the last one of these, I had to grab this leg and physically lift it over. Let's lower this one, get the right leg over. Left just pings over. When that next mile ticks over, I'll be a happy bunny. Up 
Uh, you can see the dude in the yellow headband. I've been chasing him all race. Cheers, man. Yeah, we're so fucking close now, bro. Now, my watch is not telling me to go this way, but we'll follow the flags and not the GPX. This way, or well, we all drew this way to get to the campsite. It's not making it any easier. No, it's just up here. Let me just flip on the camera and see you. Need new socks, eh? New fucking socks. New socks. Oh, 